morning and it's actually a really beautiful morning outside i've had to actually close one of my curtains in the office because the sun comes beaming in and it just makes me look like i've got a weird face so good morning to you all um thank you for spending a little bit of your morning with me so my name is dawn and i run an essential wellness business i'm also currently training to be a health and life coach to add on to my many many little skills and tricks and stuff that I do. But one of my biggest passions in life, I learned a long, long time ago, was essential oils and playing with essential oils, I'd have to say. It's like creating my own lotions and potions, as my partner calls it. And that's what I kind of do now is I educate and empower people to use natural alternatives for everyday health and wellness. Now, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to try and focus on some things for you today that I feel would be really, really beneficial for where we are right now, obviously with COVID-19 and the way that it might be affecting our health, both emotionally and physically. So I have got a little presentation, but before we get started, can you let me know in the chat what experience of essential oils that you currently have, uh, whether you already use essential oils, whether you just use them aromatically, um, what kind of things maybe you've done before with essential oils? Just to kind of give me a little bit of a feel of where you're all up to right now. And while you're doing that, just to explain what I'm going to go through in the class today, I'm going to be focusing on a little bit about, obviously, what are essential oils. I'm also going to be sharing with you a little bit about doTERRA, which is the brand of oils that I recommend um, due to their purity and potency. I'm going to go through a couple of scenarios of situations that you might be wanting to use oils for right now on based on your emotions and some physical areas in there. See, I told you, he would start barking as soon as a Zoom call comes on. Love him. Um, then what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to share a little bit with you about if you want to get started with the oils, how you can actually get started with these oils in your home and the support and education that you'll actually receive as part of that. So is everybody okay with that kind of thing? kind of hitting everyone's corner so let's have a look what have we got uh so we've used them in the bath lavender in the bath himalayan salt brilliant used doTERRA oils to scent the room templates for sleep cool lemon and peppermint oil to clear my head gorgeous and in journeys never used any oh susie woohoo i've got an essential oil virgin on the I love it. Thank you. I always like to have newbies on here as well. Uh, quite a few oils to put in the bath and scent the room. Cool. Okay. So it looks like we've used them for more general pampering kind of things. So we're going we're gonna to go through a few different things because you know what? They're so versatile. And that's what I want to actually be able to share with you is the versatility of what you can use essential oils for. So let me share my screen. Um, just so I can see you guys still. Do, do, do. Bear with me. It's not letting me move it. All right, put that up there for now. So, essential oils. What are they in the first place? Well, essential oils, if you don't know, they're natural, volatile, aromatic compounds. And they come from things like the seed, the bark, the resin. Um, some of them come from just, just the tiny little flowers, sometimes it's the roots. And it's actually the plant's natural defense system as well. So it helps the plants to thrive in the environment that they actually live in, either to attract things to them or actually to repel things away from them and allow them to thrive in that environment. Now the benefits that those plants actually have we can actually use for therapeutic benefits of those plants to support our own natural health and wellness. Now, I'm sure you know this is not new. You know, essential oils have been around in various forms for thousands and thousands of years. So this is something that we've been using for a long, long time. And basically what we're doing is we're using plant-based medicines to actually support our day-to-day -day health and wellness. 
Now, what the essential oils don't do, I want to make this really clear, is they're not there to treat, cure or prevent disease. What they're actually there to do is to help to bring your body back into balance so that your body can do what it's meant to do, which is naturally deal with those situations because our body's very, very clever. However, if it's out of balance because certain things externally or internally are going on emotionally or physically, that can actually affect the way that our body can actually deal with things. The great thing about essential oils, really one of the great thing for me is they're natural, they're safe and they're extremely affordable to use because they're literally pennies per drop. You're only using a very, very small amount at a time. The other great thing about it is you have them available at home. You're not having to go anywhere for them. So you've got your own little medicine cabinet at home. So I've used them for many, many things. You know, yes, the beautiful lavender oil was probably one of the first oils I was ever introduced to because I was stressed and I couldn't sleep. So someone introduced lavender to me. But then the more I learned about the oils, the more inquisitive I became about well, what else can this oil do? So when you get a couple of essential oils, you can use them for multiple things singularly, and then you can blend them to use them in other ways as well. And we're going to go through some of those ways during this presentation for you. So how do you actually use essential oils? First is aromatically. Now, when we talk about aromatic, that's about us actually inhaling the oils okay now we can do that in so many ways so one of them the simplest one of all it's so difficult this by the way you literally get a bottle you take the lid off and you smell it so simple isn't it so it's like rocket science who knew it could be so easy the other way you can do it is you can even just do things like with some of the oils put a drop of it in your hands rub your hands together and just inhale them and you probably saw before i had a rollerball and i was like okay let's just whack some of that on you know i can wear it as a perfume throughout the day to make me feel good you know it can empower me there's no chemicals in there the other great thing about when i wear them myself aromatically anybody who comes into contact with me gets to have some of those amazing benefits of those oils as well you can also get things like diffuser bracelets and jewellery pendants. So you can put them on your jewellery, give them to the kids that way. It's a great way to get people to be able to use them on a day to day basis. Using a diffuser rather than a room burner. So room burners, what they do, that's the little one with the tea light underneath. Room burners are great for fragrance oils, but that's it but they don't actually do any benefit for therapeutic oils. That gooey mess in the bottom of your um, room burner, by the way, is where the oils haven't gone anywhere. They just heat up and they give you a bit of a fragrance. That's it. When you use a diffuser, what it does is it's got an electronic um, plate in the bottom that vibrates the oils and the water together. You get the beautiful fine mist coming out of it that traps the oils into the environment that you're actually breathing. So when we're using oils aromatically, some of the things that they're gonna work on is they can help to calm your emotions. They can give you more energy and focus depending on which oils you're using. You know, they can help to open up the airways. They can purify the air around us. And you know, if you, you are cooking a little bit more, they can even eliminate bad odors and things. And diffusing them in our, the different rooms can help us maybe to have a restful night's sleep. Give me more focus and energy while I'm working in my office. I've got one in the hallway. Eliminate smelly doggy wet smells. You know, the one in the hallway runs for two bonuses. It gets rid of wet doggy smells. But when my partner used to come home grumpy from the office, now he's just grumpy in the office, um, I can diffuse the oils outside his office and actually make him feel more positive about things. I've been really subtle. I haven't actually put it in his office, which is not like me to be, be that subtle. I'm normally, I kind of thought if I put it on his desk, it's like, you might get a little bit upset with me doing that. So it's just outside and the oil's nicely diffused in his office. So when I'm diffusing oils, I can treat the people in the area around me. I can enhance their mood. I can make them feel better. So they're great about working with our mood and our emotions when we're using them in this way and to help with any kind of respiratory opening up our airways as well. 
Now, when we talk about topical application, generally when we're looking at topical, it's more for some kind of physical benefit. So that might be that we're wanting to support our skin. Maybe we've got things like muscular aches and pains, joint discomfort, um, irritations, and we can even use them topically to support our immune system, which is obviously quite key at the moment with everything else that's actually going on. So when we're doing them topically, as a general rule, 99.9% .9 of the time, you are always going to dilute the oils. Now, the reason for that is because they're extremely pure and very, very potent, and you don't need a lot to do the work, okay? If I've got muscular aches and pains because I've overworked on my wee fit right now, uh, or maybe I've been out there painting the fence for too long, done that job, that's off my list, then what I can do is I can mix the oils in a carrier oil or in a lotion and it makes it go further and I can apply it to that area topically and it kind of keeps it in that area. If I want it to have more of an overall body effect, then what I might do is I might actually rub it on the bottom of my feet. So when I'm wanting to do things like boost my immune system, help me have a more relaxing night's sleep and things like that, I might apply them to the bottom of my feet. Now the bottom of your feet is also very, very good because of reflexology. Obviously we're working within the whole systems of the body when we're working on the bottom of our feet. And it's also a really, really good way to be able to use the essential oils with babies and young children because they love their feet being massaged and things like that. So there's some great and easy places to use oils topically. Bottom of your feet, palms of your hands is another good one. Okay, again, reflexology. Down your spine is another great one. When we talk about peppermint later, you'll hear that I'll say about it being cooling. Great if you're feeling hot and you wanna kind of put that down your spine, it can help to reduce temperatures and things. Obviously applying them on areas where there's muscular aches and pains that are not on the skin in general. What you don't do is put them in your eyes, stick them up your nose or stick them in your ears. No. <laughs> so don't do any of those things. If you are, you're very weird for a start. If you accidentally get any oil in your eye, I know people that have done it. They've done it with the tension roller ball. They've gone like this and they've rolled it right the way across the head. Um, and a little bit of oil has gone into their eye. Using water will not get it out because as we know, oil and water do not mix, okay? So what you need to do is you need to use a carrier oil. The easiest way to do it is to put some coconut oil or something like that, almond oil, whatever, even, you know, um, cooking oil on a tissue, cotton pad, rest it on the eye for a second and then just wipe it away. What it will start to do is it will start to lift the oils out. Again, if you've got sensitive skin, the great thing about oils and the reason we dilute them is so that we can use different ratios based on our skin sensitivity and the age of the person that we're working. And I'm not gonna go into great depth on that. If you're really wanting to know more about that, please send me a message. And what we can do is we can arrange to do a personal consultation to look more at your personal needs. Now, the third one is always a very interesting subject when we talk about the internal use of essential oils. Now, when I am talking about internal use of essential oils, I want to make something really, really clear before we go anywhere. And when I talk about internal use, I am only referring to doTERRA essential oils and the oils that say that they're safe to be used in that way. Majority of them are, but there are a few oils that you wouldn't use internally. So I am only referring to doTERRA oils. I can't guarantee the quality and the testing of other oils out there. And I know an awful lot of them have been adulterated. So when I'm talking about internal use, what we're talking about is maybe I've got a glass of water here. I've added a couple of drops of, I've actually got clementine in there today, a couple of drops of essential oils in there that I can drink. Flavours enhances my water, but I'm getting some of the benefits of that as well whilst I'm drinking this. Other ways you can do it is we do like little veggie caps. So this uh, thing of veggie caps. And, oops, like a little plastic thing that you pull apart into two bits put a couple of drops of essential oil in. Sometimes 
if you, um, my partner said he gets Herbie burps when he takes them this way. Typical bloke. Uh, something to do with the drink. In fact, he's normally drinking something fizzy afterwards or a hot cup of tea. But what you can do is you can add something like MCT oil in there as well. That stops the Herbie burps. Put the little cap together and take them internally. So when I'm wanting to use them, especially for digestive issues or for immune support, then internally is one of the ways that I love to use the oils. As you all know, you can actually use them internally in cooking. I'm sure you've all, if you've been to any of the classes maybe or the um, networking that we've done, you'll see that we can make chocolates with them. We can make lots and lots of other things, but who doesn't love chocolate? So um, we can make chocolates that are super, super good because they're so stress reducing. They're helping to balance our hormones, ladies. So why wouldn't you add a little bit of pure chocolate infused with essential oils in your life? Plus, what they're going to do is they're going to support the cells on a cellular level. So they're really, really clever when we're talking about using them in this way. Oops. So why doTERRA? You know, there's a lot of oil companies on the market. Well, for me, I've used essential oils now for, I'm just going to say over 25 years. Um, and I struggled to find the oils that were the right purity and potency for what I wanted to use them for i.e. aromatically, topically, and internally. Because the quality wasn't there on a lot of oils. They've been, you can tell when you smell them, they kind of smell synthetic. And that's because there is oils on the market that are produced purely for their fragrance or their taste. They're not produced for anything else. Because when we talk about internal, interestingly, people say you can't use them that way, but if they're in our food flavorings, so you can use them that way, they're used in the industry. But the quality of them is not, they're not preserving the therapeutic benefits of those oils. And that's what we're wanting to use these oils for. We're wanting them to support our overall, overall health. So doTERRA, what they do is they're very, very transparent about how they source their oils, the testing that they do. And they're very, very much about purity and potency. They work with artisan farmers all around the world and they get the oils from where they are naturally grown, not in a greenhouse, not mass produced in that way. So they're actually where the plants would naturally thrive. And because of that, that changes the actual chemistry of that oil and how that oil is gonna actually work within our body. The other thing they do though, is they do their own certified pure therapeutic testing. Now this is what I would call the diamond standard of essential oil quality testing, because they go way and beyond what other companies do. They test for the simple things like, does it smell, look right? You know, how does it react on the skin? But what they do is they also look at the actual chemistry of each litre of oil that is distilled to make sure that there's no contaminants in there there's no fillers, it's not artificial in any shape or form, and it's got exactly the right chemistry in there. Some companies, what they do is they adulterate their oils with cheaper oils to make more of that oil. So to give you an example, lemongrass and melissa smell very similar. Melissa is actually very expensive. Melissa, lemongrass is very, very cheap. So what they do is they cut their melissa with lemongrass to make their oil go further. So unless you do the tests and it's showing the actual chemistry of that plant and that oil, you're not going to know that. Now, rather than just giving you doTERRA's testing results, what they do is they go one step further. They send them away to be independently tested. So they do third party testing on their oils and you actually get access to those third party testing results on their source to you website. You can pull up a report that will tell you there's a batch number on the bottom of the bottle that you can type into there and it will give you the chemistry of that particular oil. Now that's how open they are. Their co-impact sourcing is about supporting third world countries around the world to ensure we get the best quality of oils by creating cooperatives in these countries. So what they're doing is they're re-establishing businesses for these people, but they're making sure that they're sustainable. So we want to make sure that the oils are sustainable long term. So it's not over processing them neither, over harvesting them. They've got to do it sustainably all the time. They get paid the dollar price. There's no brokers involved. And you know that the oil that you're getting meets that gold standard and that you're helping people all around the world. 
And for me, when I started working with doTERRA, this was like the icing on the cake for me because I got the most amazing quality oils for me and my family. But when I use certain oils, like vetiver, it's actually my box over there. Vetiver is one of my favorite oils. It comes from Haiti. You know, it's a very, very poor country. And I've seen some of the living standards that they have in the Dominican Republic and places like that. When I'm using that oil, I'm helping to support a family in Haiti to be able to feed their children and have running water. Something as simple as that. And that's part of their Healing Hands Foundation. So they're very much about giving back to the communities. They do an awful lot with things like Operation Underground, um, Days for Girls, which is, you know, some of it's about sex trafficking, some of it it's about supporting people, you know, in their third world countries to make sure that the girls can actually live at home because they've got sanitary support so that they don't get kicked out from the villages. So it helps them emotionally, physically and financially. Um, and that's one of the things, it kind of makes a huge difference when you know that you're making a difference by using these oils, not only for your own family, but theirs too. So I have a quick question. How are you feeling today? So on a scale of one to 10, zero being not at all and 10 being this is a big problem. These are the questions I want you to think about. How often are you aware of being stressed in your daily life right now? And then what I want you to do is in a minute, I'm going to get you to put the answers to each of these in the comments. So it would be like five, two, one or whatever it is. Okay. How concerned are you about the quantity or quality of your sleep? And how frequently do your emotions feel difficult to manage appropriately? So we've got, got some aches going on here, but you know, is this about being stressed? Is this about sleep? Or is this about managing your emotions? Which one of these are the areas that you'd wanna work a little bit more on? Or would like some support on right now? Because these things are affecting a lot of people. And I know, I know this because prior to putting this workshop together for you guys today, it's a, it's a slight different one to my normal intro to oils. I've based it on the situation we're currently in right now. Being in lockdown, not being able to have access to all the things that we'd usually have access to, that we were talking about before, the simple things like fresh air, meeting your friends and family, you know, going to the shops and being free to do those things that you want. How is that then affecting the way that we're actually feeling right now? For me personally, I can tell you that, um, not what week we're on, I don't know what week we're on now. The first week, um, I didn't have anything going on that was bothering me at all. Um, I was just like, yeah, whatever, we're on lockdown, who cares? We can cope, we've got food, we've got water, carry on. I had a fence to paint, so that was well distracting. Um, but that was the thing. When I look back at some of the things that have actually gone on during that time, what I did is I kind of put myself in this bubble of I'm not in the headspace to work right now. So I'm going to paint my fence outside because they're telling me that I can't go out and exercise and play. So I'm going to paint outside. So I was outside and the weather was good. So it gave me a way to be able to release some things. But my head was not in work mode at all. It is now. Don't worry, guys. I'm back on it now. Um, obviously there's been a lot of energy fluxes as well with the new moons and things like that. So that's kind of been affecting everyone as well, making people feel a bit, a bit strange. It's all about new beginnings now. So there's lots of stuff going on for us, social media telling us stuff. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I've got this rule now. I turn social media off at a certain time. Um, I'm not particularly focused on watching the news and things. My partner normally tells me if it's something I need to know because he's on it all the time. But it's turning yourself off from these things. So let's look at stress a little bit. So we have this thing in our brain called the hypothalamus. It's like the control center of our brain. And when we're stressed, 
the brain then says to it, send out some stress hormones. We need to deal with this. Send them out. It's our original fight or flight. But we're not really in that same thing. We're not getting that flight kind of thing in the same way. It's designed to protect us. But it goes on a bit of a repeat pattern sometimes. So sometimes we get stuck in a rut and we need to change our habits. Now, rather than try to eliminate bad habits, it's easier to create some new ones. Now, frequent stress or prolonged stress can actually have some long term physical and mental well being issues for us. And these are some of the symptoms in relation to chronic stress. So do you become more irritable at things or become irritable quicker? Not when it's that time of the month, <laughs> just in general. Do you feel that you're feeling more anxious or low in mood right now? Are you maybe getting more headaches, sleep issues, pure immune function, or even, even just something as simple as increased blood pressure? These are all symptoms of stress in the body. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover some of the areas in here. So we're going to be looking at how can we support our immune system? Because I think that's really key right now. We're going to be looking at ways to have a better night's sleep. We're going to be looking at some mood enhancing oils as well to try and help us with the anxiety and low mood. And then also some oils to give us a bit more energy and vitality during the day. Does that sound OK? We're all OK with that. Cool. Do you know that 70% of sleep problems are either uh, are actually um, psychophysiological issues, not environmental or medical? Only 15% is environmental and 15% is medical. But I would look at your environment when you go to bed and the bedroom area. Um, if you do would want to book a consultation with me, one of the things we'll go through is we'll look at some other things other than oils that you can put in place to help to deal with stress and to help to deep to deal with better sleep patterns okay so what happens is when we're stressed it produces increased cortisol levels in the body which means that the body can't produce melatonin which is what it actually needs it to rise when we go to bed so things like bright lights mobile phones tvs all of that side of things all can affect the way that the brain actually takes on things because it doesn't think it's night time so it doesn't actually deal with stuff it doesn't start to put us in that sleep mode so there's lots and lots of different things that we can actually do to help yes so i've got someone saying they get messages when they're in bed do you know what the best thing i ever did for my business for my sanity and so that I actually showed up as a better person for everybody else is my phone goes on do not disturb at 7.30 at night. And it comes back on at 7.30 in the morning. I do not have any annoying text messages or calls coming through during that time. If my family need me, they've got the landline number and they know how to get hold of me. Most of the time, questions that people are asking us about business, outside of business hours, when you run your own business, be mindful to set up some boundaries around your business hours. If you start working 24 seven at the beginning, middle or end of your business, people will continue to expect you to work 24 seven in your business. You are entitled to work business hours. So put some boundaries in there, your sanity, okay? So please be mindful of that. It's one of the biggest things. We've got mobile phones. They're supposed to be there to make our life easier, not to make it more stressful, okay? Sometimes I just wish I could throw it in the bin. Um, but, you know, that, that's what we want them there for. We want them there to actually support us rather than actually be a hindrance. So who wants to learn about some essential oils? Yay! That's what I want to learn about. I'm always learning, by the way. 
I never stop learning about essential oils. There's so much research comes out all the time and it excites me. And that's why I don't think I'm ever going to get bored of this journey because I get to learn new things all the time. So we're going to look at some oils to support your immune system to start off with. Now, On Guard is a blend of oils that doTERRA has. It's called a protective blend. And it's got things in there like clove and cinnamon and wild orange and all sorts of amazing things like eucalyptus and tea tree. Great oils that are going to help to support our body's natural immune system. Okay, there's a couple of ways you can use this oil to do that. You can put them in the veggie capsule that I said. Um, at, normally we do have them in soft gels and little beadlets, but obviously due to the current situation, certain items have gone out of stock. Looks like Susie there, choop, sneezing away. She needs something. Next oil for you, Susie. So we can use them, we can apply them on the bottom of our feet daily. This can actually help to support our family's immune system as well. I always recommend for people that have got kids and for yourself as well, but if you've got kids under the age of 12, you're gonna dilute them down more. Put them in a roller bottle pre-diluted, apply it to the bottom of your feet every single day, especially when environmental and seasonal threats are high. So this time of year, obviously winter time and stuff like that, apply them on the bottom of the feet. They get into the bloodstream, they start doing what they're meant to be doing. They're great for things like colds and flus. Again, diffusing them can help to cleanse and purify the air. Tickly coughs, um, we do do a mouthwash, but you can actually just put a couple of drops in a glass of water, gargle with it, and that can actually ease any irritated throat. They're great, as I said, even for your gums and teeth. So you, again, you can use them in there. And it's naturally antiseptic. So we do do a laundry cleaner in the On Guard range. We do a On Guard um, concentrate, cleaning concentrate product. So you can make your own natural cleaning products. Now, what I would say to you right now is the situation that we're in with COVID-19. It's not particularly an airborne kind of thing. So diffusing isn't the best way to use oils to support your immune system. Applying them topically is the best way and cleaning your work surfaces, cleaning your clothes after you've been out, okay? So you, we've shared in our groups and things like that how you can make your own natural um, hand washes and um, cleansing gels and stuff like that using the On Guard Protective Blend. It is my must have product. When we got into lockdown, by the way, guys, my Mother's Day presents to both of our parents was a range of On Guard products because they're older than me and I want to support their immune system the best that I can. So this was my number one product for them. I would not be without this product. The second one is the beautiful Air Blend. It's also known as Breathe or Easy Air in some countries. <clears throat> now this is a respiratory blend. So at the moment, obviously one of the areas that COVID-19 can actually work on is it kind of gives people chest issues and respiratory issues. So what I want you to do, this is not gonna just miraculously get rid of things, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna support you to be able to breathe more easily, to help to open up those airways. Okay, so anything to do with any respiratory issues, diffusing this oil, diluting it into a roller ball, applying it topically across the chest, across your back, great for the little ones as well. This is like a rub that you might apply in those areas, but better natural and contains nothing else in there. You all know what I mean. You've all probably used it. <laughs> so this is a good way that you can apply it there, apply it on the bottom of your feet. If you want to apply it on your feet, then another great place to put it is if this was your big toe and these are the next two toes, put it in this bottom joint bit here. So it's kind of the sinus kind of area of your foot. It's great for coughs and congestions. And it's one of the oils that I used when we did a sleep study because it is well known if you open up your airways, your body starts to reduce stress levels because your body's getting more oxygen, so it can breathe more easily. Hence, meditation is really good to breathe 
So while we're there, I don't know if you've seen my t-shirt, inhale, exhale. Let's take a nice slow deep breath in. And uh, oxygen, amazing. Open up those airways, breathe in that feeling. To me, the air blend, it is, it's like breathing in fresh air. You know, it's got some really powerful oils in there. We've got eucalyptus in there. We've got cardamom in there. Um, some great oils. But what it's going to do is it's going to help you to have a more relaxing sleep. Also great for those annoying people that snore at night. Um, big toe in the next toe along. Just rub it on there for them. So it can help with sleep issues. So a possible nighttime regime for you is we do a product called Serenity. Serenity is our restful blend. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as one of the mood oils as well but they do a complex that's got the serenity blend in there and then it's got additional um, herbs and things in there to help you have a relaxing night's sleep and basically what you do with this is you could take it about half an hour before you go to bed my main thing for you guys is when you prepare to sleep don't think you can just get your lavender chuck 20 drops on your pillow and go to sleep number one that is way too many it'll keep you awake, but you have to prepare the body. And we're going to talk about lavender in a little bit. So Serenity Restful Complex is a capsule that you just pop in your mouth and take. Kapaiba is great. It works with the cannabinoid system in the CB2 receptors. So what it does is it helps to soothe any anxious feelings that you may have. And it actually creates homeostasis and balance in the body and allows your body to rest. Now, personally, when I take Kapaiba, I don't mind the taste of it. I literally put two drops under my tongue before I go to bed. Half an hour before I go to bed. I, I don't mind it, but personal preference. You can make up a rollable blend. And here's just some suggested oils. So you do 20 drops of each oil. This is for an adult. We've got frankincense in there. We've got vetiver, bergamot, and Roman chamomile. All of these oils are calming soothing relaxing oils okay so they can help you turn off your mind and have a more restful night's sleep lavender can't talk about sleep without lavender because that's what everybody tells me they use so when you use lavender for sleep what i suggest you do is get a spray bottle put a couple of drops say 10 drops of lavender and top it up with distilled water or boiled water that's gone cold. Now you can add alcohol in there if you want to, 10% alcohol in there. Personally, two reasons, I think it's a waste. I don't like mixing alcohol in with my oils because uh, I know that I can shake and spritz and it'll work fine. So what you could do is you could create a mist spray to spritz on your bedding before you go to bed. Diffuse the oil an hour or two before you go to bed, let's start to wind the body down. And then when you go to bed, what you can do is you can apply a little bit over the heart, back of the neck, because we carry stress and tension at the back of the neck. And then also on your big toe, because your big toe is your brain. So help it to relax and unwind. I also personally use this if I am, um, overdo it in the sun, I mix it with some peppermint oil and I put it in a spritzer and it's my spray because what it does is it helps to soothe and reduce any scarring for things like cuts and grazes, burns and things like that. Now, if I was using it on a burn, like a cooker burn or an iron, because you know, we do these silly things, people make us iron for a living, then just put your oil on neat, but you've got to make sure that it is a pure oil. If it is in a carrier oil, it will not work. The carrier oil will make the burn burn. You need to make sure it's a pure oil that you're using. It's also a great one if to support any allergies that you may have. If you mix a blend of lavender, lemon and peppermint together and put them in a capsule, take them internally. I also use them for things like bites and stings and stuff like that. So it's another great one to have in. A must for your first aid cabinet. Definitely one I always go to. So it's got lots and lots of different uses. There's so many other things I could tell you about it. You can even use it to enhance the flavour of foods as well. So some great things. The good old Frankie. So frankincense is known as the king of oils. And I kind of say, you know, if it was good enough 
for you know who it's definitely good enough for me he got it one of the three wise men gave him it so it's good enough for me to have the reason i love it is because it supports our body both emotionally and physically it can help to relieve depression just by diffusing the oils or you can actually put a drop under your tongue it's got natural anti-aging properties as well. So if you want to kind of get rid of those fine lines and wrinkles, add a drop of frankincense into your nighttime moisturizer. It's great for helping to reduce skin imperfections as well. Um, also to ease any tension, aches and pains, back pain and things. But it works to support us on a cellular level and it can actually work to help to give us more focus on things as well. So if that might be an issue, frankincense might be one. It's one of the ones that a lot of people use in meditation as well. So it's a great one to use. Sometimes what I like to diffuse on a night time, it's actually frankincense and lavender together. So good little mixes. So we're gonna look at some mood oils. So, have you ever felt fatigued? Stressed? Maybe you've just got no peace in your life, or you've just not got a passion to live right now. Just got not got the drive. Well, doTERRA put together four mood oils and these are still some of my favorite blends that I go to. I would have to say I use these oils every day. One or two of, I use at least two of these every single day. So if you are stressed and have no peace, you're feeling tense and worried, then doTERRA's balance blend is what's known as the grounding blend. Now, personally, this is my go-to oil first thing on a morning. I love this blend because I can literally put it on my pulse points, a little bit on the bottom of my feet, behind my ears, breathe it in. Fact, sorry guys. You're just gonna have to wait while I do it. It's gorgeous. One of my favorite oils actually is Balance. The reason I love it so much is it's so grounding. It's not a floral oil or anything. It's got things like marjoram in there. It's got frankincense in there. It's just really, really calming and grounding. And what I do is I use this oil first thing on a morning to prepare me emotionally for my day. Okay. So this is about that time before I start doing the crazy stuff of work put myself in a calm state okay so I can think more clearly then I'm likely to go on to things like elevation or citrus bliss so if I'm feeling a little bit withdrawn a little bit hopeless and I need to be inspired I need some encouragement and some joy in my life then I would go for elevation which is the joyful blend strangely enough in my diffuser today is elevation. I love this blend of oils. So again, it's another blend. I have to take my glasses off to read all the different ones that are in it. They have to put the things on there so small that you can't read them. But we've got in there tangerine, um, lavender, clary sage. I uh, can't read some of the other ones in there. Loads of other stuff in there. Can't remember what they all are now. But this is the oil that when I need a bit of a pick me up, and I want to be focused and I want to have some joy bubbles in my life, then I'm going to go to either Elevation or Citrus Bliss. Citrus Bliss speaks for itself because it's citrus oil. It's a blend of citrus oil. So if I'm completely unmotivated and I need to give myself a kick up the bum, that was last week's oil, by the way, um, then I would go for Citrus Bliss because it's invigorating, it's stimulating, it's going to provide motivation for me. Then at the end of the night, I'm going to use Serenity. Because I don't know about you, when you can't sleep, you also get impatient as well because you're impatient that you can't sleep. It's like a cycle. And then you get frustrated and angry with the world because you're, you're tired. So serenity is one of these oils that's going to help to calm and soothe and relax you. So each of these four oils have their place. And as I said, depending on how I'm feeling, what's going on in my world, these are generally the oils I go to all the time. I also love Elevation downstairs and Citrus Bliss downstairs in our hallway because it's just got that clean, cleansing, purifying kind of energies that are in there. You know, downstairs, we've got Jay's office, his man cave, work office at the moment, and the kitchen. And obviously that's where the dog is some of the times. It cleanses and purifies the air down there. 
in my bedroom, I've got a diffuser. So I diffuse something like serenity in there. As I said, balance, I prefer to use as a daily perfume. It grounds and connects me. So I'm ready to take on the day. Balance is one of the oils that I actually use before I come on webinars. Who'd have thought, just in case I'm feeling a little bit stressed or a little bit anxious, that's the oil I always go to. It makes me feel more grounded and connected. So if you're wanting to do more online stuff and feeling a little bit nervous, I can truly recommend balance. Wild orange. Now, again, this is what I would just call joy bubbles. Complete joy bubbles. It's actually the oil of abundance as well. So if you do affirmations, this is a great oil to add in there. It is like you have got an orange and you're just peeling and you get that gorgeous zest. What does it do? It gives you more energy, but it's got a calming underlay to it. So it's great if you get stressed. Maybe you need to be, have your mood enhanced. You need, to, as I said, joy in your life. You need to be happy. Wild orange is always one of those oils that I would go to. Whenever I have anybody come in to me that's anxious or depressed, this is the first oil I would always tell them to use. You can put one or two drops in your hand, diffuse the oils, put a couple of drops in a veggie cap, take it internally to boost your immune system. It's powerful natural antioxidant in there. Gargle with it as well. I add it into my water daily. Also, you all know I make chocolates with wild orange. I also make some awesome salad dressings with wild orange as well, because it does taste kind of yummy. Um, and they're so simple to be able to make. Um, when I do cupcakes and stuff, I do lemon cupcakes, like lemon drizzle cakes with lemon essential oil in there. So yeah, you can do lots and lots of different things with these oils. So wild orange is one of those oils that works perfectly with my other favorite oil, peppermint. So you're not sleeping, you've got no energy during the day. Peppermint and wild orange together, perfect companion. Diffuse the oils. Peppermint is very energizing uplifting it gives you more focus gives you more clarity peppermint and lavender are both known for being really really good to ease headaches peppermint i would tend to go more if it's a tension headache lavender i would go if it's more a stress headache depending on where you are so this is about creating more energy focus va va voom get a rollerball it's the easiest way to do it rather than keep dropping oils in your hand all the time. Get a roller ball, put 10 drops of wild orange in, 10 drops of peppermint in there. I like to add 10 drops of Frankie in there as well, but you can, personal choice, or you can do 15 wild orange, 15 peppermint. Top it up with carrier oil, it's in a roller ball. It is ready to go. You've, you've seen me put on quite a few oils today. But you know the great thing about oils? So you can layer them and you can build on them, you know, because they're absorbed and then they just work within the body. So I can layer the oils to get the feeling and the fragrances that I actually want. I've just realized the one that I've just put on was not my wild orange and peppermint. That's my immune boosting one. And I can smell thyme and basil and other oils now, but it's all good. It's all good. That'll teach me. Picked up the wrong bottle. Read the label. Put labels on them when you make them as well. It's always useful. So personally, the carrier oil that I use is fractionated coconut oil. You can use sweet almond, grapeseed, jojoba, all of the other ones if you want to. Now I use jojoba oil and uh, fractionated coconut oil if I'm doing something for my face. If I'm doing a facial serum oil, I use jojoba because it's got some great properties in there for the skin, along with fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated, Purely means it's a liquid form. Oops, my lid's turned around the wrong way. Oop, we've squirted something over there now as well. So it absorbs into the skin. It does not smell of coconut. It's not like solid coconut. It absorbs really, really easily into the skin and a little bit means that your oils can go a long way. The reason I like to make up roller balls quick and easy is I can chuck them anywhere. So when we're not on lockdown, these are in my car, they're in my handbag, they're with me all the time. I have a case 
a oil box smaller than this one, uh, which has got my roller balls in there, all pre-made. And doTERRA do do some that are already pre-made for you. We do a great hormone balancing one and one for tension headaches and one for focus, plus a range of ones for emotional support. But you know what? I love being able to create my own as well. So I have theirs and then I have all my own little lotions and potions that I've created because that means that I can create it personally to me, to my needs, what I want. What works for me might not work for you. So that's the great thing about using essential oils is you can create your own oils. Now, some other great things for peppermint. If anyone does suffer from hot flashes, this is your number one oil. Put it in a roller ball, dilute it down with fractionated coconut oil, roll it down your spine whenever you feel a hot flash coming on, that'll help. Put it in a spritz bottle, you can spritz it on your body, it's really great for that. Um, but as I said, down the spine, back of the neck and rubbing it on the bottom of your feet. It's great if you are on your feet all day and your feet are tired and lethargic and your muscles are sore down there on your legs and calves, massage it into the bottom of your feet. I love this one, as I said, sometimes I'll mix this one with lavender to give it more of a relaxing, soothing massage element, but then it's got that cooling element in there. So it's great for aches and pains. It's great for opening up your sinus area as well. So any respiratory support that you need, just apply it onto that area, breathe it in, diffusing it. And of course, digestive issues. So one drop of peppermint is the equivalent of 28 cups of peppermint tea. I love putting in a litre bottle of water, I put two drops of peppermint and I keep it in the fridge. And whenever I want a drink of infused water, I just shake the bottle and pour it. Make sure you're using glass when you're putting the oils in water. So you need to do it in glass, not in plastic. Two reasons. Plastic is bad. Even the BPA stuff, there's still stuff getting leaked into your water. Um, and some of the essential oils actually break down petrochemicals, which is what plastic is. Um, so you don't want it breaking down the bottle for you. So always use a glass. That's another great way to be able to do it. So let's see, have we got any questions at the moment? So. Mm -mm -mm. So sleeping too, you see, that's the other thing, isn't it? Well, sometimes when we have too much sleep, that can have a knock-on effect as well. Because my partner said that the other day. I don't know about you, but days, we're going to bed earlier. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, you think we'd be staying up later. But I think it's just boredom sits in after a certain amount of time. You can only do so much in your home. Um, but saying that, we've listened to some random weird music during lockdown. <laughs> Alexa plays all sorts of bizarre stuff for us. Um, and, you know, we've got the Wii Fit out and play board games. They're called board games for a reason. <laughs> they eliminate the boredom. So roll it down your spine by yourself. How do you roll it down your spine by yourself? Quite easily. So generally, I get my roller ball. I reach the top bit down to the bottom. I can reach at least to my bra. Take the bottle. And then I do the top bit. Can't go quite down all the way down, but do you know what? 80% of my spine is covered. It keeps me cool with that. So yeah, dead quick and easy to be able to do that. People are gonna be thinking, what is she doing if they're seeing the little video of this on the side? So yes, roll it down your spine. Da, 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 sleep, what's fractionated? We've done that. Have I missed any, Coral, Camille? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So sorry, what you want to do is yes, you... Dawn, sorry, yes. I think there was one question there. Um, somebody has a really poor sense of smell and yes. is struggling with that bit. I'll just read the chat. Uh, what if you have a rubbish sense of smell? Is it still as effective? The oils will still work because it's the chemistry of the oil that is actually getting absorbed into the bloodstream. And then when it gets into the bloodstream, the chemistry, because that's all essential oils is, it's purely chemistry. It's not just about the smell that you're actually doing. The chemistry of that oil then goes into the brain and works with the hypothalamus, which then works on how it's actually going to work within the body with the amygdala and it helps to deal that way. So I've got a lot of people that say to me they can't smell anything. 
Um, and to be honest, sometimes that's due to past illnesses and stuff that they've had. It can affect our sinuses. What people can find is if they use essential oils over a period of time, what they can find is their sense of smell starts to come back. But it's about consistently using them. So you can still use them, obviously, topically and breathing them in. You might not smell them and you might not get the same woohoo that everyone else is getting, unfortunately, straight away. But you are going to chemically, it's going to work with the brain and do what it needs to actually do. Um, because that's the great thing about it. It is actually chemistry that we're playing with here because it's the chemical components of the oils, the aromatic compounds that we're actually absorbing into our bloodstream, be it we're breathing them in, putting them on topically or taking them in a capsule. So they actually work all ways. So before I go on to this, I need to move that because I put that away. So what you need to be mindful of is when you're actually using the oils, what you want to do is you want to create a routine. OK, so create a daily routine for you. So for myself, I get up on a morning time wash my face and do all the usual things or have a shower and do my hair. I apply my balance. It's the first thing I do. Then for me, my routine is we go out, we take the dog for a walk. This is even, this is outside of lockdown and inside of lockdown at the moment, but we take the dog for a walk. We come back. I have my breakfast. Then I get into work mode. Then I use the oils that are going to help to energize me, motivate me, stimulate me to want to do things. OK, yes, I'm very fortunate. I've got a whole collection of oils so I can mix and play till my heart's content. And I, sometimes I just go in there and it's like, what mood do I feel like today? Oh, yes, I'll have this one. So they're going to support us on so many different levels. And that's why I would definitely say to you, make sure you book a complimentary consultation with me, because what we're going to do in that consultation is put together a personal wellness plan. So you're going to give me a list of elements and concerns that you would like support with for you and your family. And I'm going to give you recommendations on which oils to actually use and how to use them. Because that's important. Having a box of oils that gets dust on it and never comes out is not effective. Even just opening the box and smelling all the oils, if you have oils at home now, is effective. So at least do that. So then when it comes to sort of like, you know, mid-afternoon, we take this bit of a slump, don't we? Our energy drops and stuff. Now, some of that is actually down to our blood sugar levels. So what I would also say to you, a couple of things, make sure that you're drinking and staying hydrated. Make sure you're having a balanced diet throughout the day. So every diet should have carbohydrates, protein, fats, and vegetables in there. You shouldn't really be missing one of them out. So you should be having that with every meal. Okay. This can all affect our blood sugar. If we're having the right things, then that actually helps to stop the dip in blood sugar levels so that we're not craving something else. If you can get your blood sugar levels into balance, what that can also do is it does stop the cravings and everything else that's going on and it maintains your energy at a better level. But if you need an energy pick me up, citrus oils are amazing for enhancing your mood first thing in the morning. And in the afternoon, add things like peppermint and spearmint and basil and rosemary in there, ones that are going to really, really wake the mind up if you're taking that slump. Then when it comes to the evening time, a couple of hours at least before you go to bed, prepare the body to sleep. Turn off social media and your phone. Nothing's that urgent. It can wait until tomorrow. Okay? Give your brain time to slow down. Make sure the environment's right in your room. You want it to be dark. You don't want it to be too warm neither. So sometimes we have the heating on because we're cold, but actually a really warm bedroom stops you sleeping. The humidity in there can affect the way that you sleep. You know, something as simple as 
which is one of the things that was mentioned on our health coaching course was um, having a hot water bottle again. I was like, really? I hate having electrical things in my bedroom, by the way. So an electric blanket was not an option. But having a hot water bottle, I found this super cool hot water bottle. It's like a long one, about this long. It is fab. And do you know what? It's so fab. My partner gets upset now if I don't put it in the bed. Because I put it in the bed for me to start off with so that I get into the warm area of the bed. I don't need the whole room to be warm. I need the bit that I'm going to snuggle into to be warm. So I put it in half an hour before we go to bed. I normally go to bed before him. I get in and I scoot it over to his side so it warms his side of the bed up. And then when he comes in, he has to snuggle with it and puts it down with his feet and he's a happy bunny. And he complains at me now when it's not in there. Who'd have thought? He whinged at me when I got it because he didn't want to be hot, but now he's loving it. So it's about creating that relaxing environment. I use the oils before I go to sleep. I've diffused them and then I'll rub them on the bottom of my feet. I'll put a drop of capaiba in my mouth before I go to bed. You know, it's preparation, allowing the body to turn off. So find things that are gonna help that nice relaxing bath. Add the oils into Epsom salts, help to soothe all that tension. If you do an Epsom salt bath as well, make sure you lay in it for at least 20 minutes. Five from 10 minutes is not actually good enough. You're not getting the full benefit of the Epsom salts if you are in there less than 20 minutes. So make the most of it. Self time, a little bit of self care. So how do the diffusers work? Uh, if you want to use lavender to sleep uh, while during the day, um, do you have to clean it? What I would generally recommend that you do is if you've only got one diffuser, just rinse it out, like get a damp cloth, wipe it inside. You should clean them regularly anyway. I have a few people that tell me that their diffusers stop working. And generally it's just because they keep putting oils and water in and oils and water and never wipe it clean. And then it bungs up the little um, ultrasonic plate at the bottom. You can put white vinegar in it and water in it and diffuse it for half an hour or just leave it soaking in it and that will clean the diffuser anyway. I generally don't need to do that because what I do is when I change them, I just give them a little wipe and then put whatever it is in there. I personally got fed up of moving diffusers around my rooms. I have, I'm gonna say five in the house. I've actually got other ones in places for when people come and things but i've got five that i use regularly there's one in my office there's one in my bedroom there's one in the living room there's one in the hallway and there's one in the kitchen so generally i'm using oils for those particular environments um so they are handy i just got fed up most plug sockets are always behind whatever you're putting it on and it I, i'm just lazy i just got fed up of moving them so I just have them everywhere. And they're all different designs as well. So depending on what room I'm in, my one downstairs, my bedroom coral is the, now is the one that you've got, the same one as you've got, they've got all pretty, pretty colours. Uh, oh, sorry, I have got six because there's one in my um, Pilates room as well. And that's another one of them ones because it's got pretty colours. So I use the yoga oils in there. Um, so yeah, it's about creating that environment for you. Um, this one, I've got this downstairs in the hall and up here because it'll run for 10 hours. I love that I can just turn it on and forget it. Um, the one that we've got runs for, I think, 12 hours, Carl. So you can set it to, to run for 12 hours. And what it does, it does five minutes on, five minutes off. It keeps going. So it's great. So any more questions before we look at how you can get started with these oils if you want to get started? Um, I asked a quick, quick question, Dawn. I yeah. asked about, um, you know, those salt lamps that you get. Do you recommend them for sleeping? Because I know that this, you're supposed to. Yeah, I do use salt lamps. I've got a salt lamp in my um, living room. Mm -hmm. Because obviously when we're in there um, watching TV and stuff like that, I've got a salt lamp there. I've got a salt lamp somewhere in here somewhere. Oh, I've moved it to the bathroom. It's in, in the bathroom with me now because it's got a little tea light one. Uh, I do like the salt lamps. Um, they, uh, they put off positive ions and stuff like that, or negative ions to limit the positive ions and stuff in the atmosphere. So they're really, really good. But also what you've got to remember is atmosphere is everything. You know, if you create that nice, soft, glowing light beside you, it automatically just gives you that calming kind of feeling that you're actually getting. I have that on my diffuser going at the same time. Got my oils, my happy or chilled or whatever. And I've got my salt lamp on there. 
Um, you know, you'll see I, I've got my crystals on, I've got crystals all around me on my desk. It's about creating that calming, soothing energy and in that environment that you feel at like your best. You know, when I used to work in what I would call a normal office, it wouldn't have looked as pretty as this. It was pretty boring, actually. But I did used to wear crystals every day and I used to take a room spray with me because we weren't allowed a diffuser in there. So I used to find ways with where I could have the oils with me. I would always have a couple of rollerballs and like a little mini keychain with like my favorite oils for if anyone got any bugs or coughs or tickles or anything like that during any of our meetings, I'd be like, here, have an oil. Um, yes, I was that crazy lady in the meetings. It's all because I didn't want their germs. <laughs> And you know what? It made them feel better. So that's all that mattered. It made me feel better. So yeah. Any questions before we go on to the next section? You can unmute yourself if you want to and ask me any questions. Oh, we're all very quiet. Cool. Alrighty. So how would you get these oils into your home? It is so simple. One, two, three. I would recommend that you choose one of our starter kits that they do. And the reason for that is because they bundle the right products together for you to get them at a cheaper price. And what we're looking at here is it's what's known as a wholesale customer account. And it gives you the opportunity to get 25% off the retail price of the oils. I am going to put this link and there's a, a link actually on my website that I've already shared with you for booking a consultation. The first thing I would recommend that you do personally is book a consultation with me. If you want to book a consultation, if you just go on to dawnmurray.com slash book dash online, that will take you to my booking page where you can book a one-to-one -one consultation. After this webinar, I'm opening up some extra slots uh, for the next couple of weeks. So uh, we can do that. And then shoot me a message because what I want to do is I want to make sure you've got the right oils. You know how to use them. If you start with a starter kit, I want you to know how to actually start using the oils. I don't want them to sit in a box when they get to you. So we'll look a little bit more into that. Why would you want to get started with the oils with a wholesale customer account? Number one, you get 25% off the retail price. I don't know about you, but I love a bargain. Um, you can also join our loyalty rewards program and earn free products every single month. We have some great promotional offers and stuff on that sometimes aren't opened up for our normal um, retail customers. So you get additional promotions and things. Plus you actually get to become part of our essential wellness tribe. So it's very much, I have two Facebook groups. I have the natural solutions for happier, healthy living group, which is my general public group, which I share some tips and tricks and stuff in there. And then when you have a wholesale customer account with us, what you're actually going to get is more one-to-one -one support on a regular basis. So every three months you can have a consultation. And if you need one in between, you can book one of those as well. Plus you get more education, free education and support, either to use the oils for your own personal health and wellness, or to start learning how you can share the oils yourself to either earn free oils or run a business but you don't have to. The wholesale customer account just allows you just to be able to get 25% off. It's a bit like Costco. So you can buy whatever products you want. It's 24 pound membership and then add whatever products you wish to the cart. But here's some of the actual kits that we do. And I'll explain a little bit about each of them. So one of them is the Family Essentials. This has got the top 10 oils that deal with everyday health and wellness. So this is like your medicine cabinet in a little mini box. They're five mils, which is about 80 drops per bottle. And then you get the On Guard and Peppermint Beadlets and your membership is free. So you don't pay for your membership. You're actually saving about 25% on this uh, anyway, because of the way that they've bundled the things together on top of the retail discount. It's 122 pounds. And we have got a promotion this month, which I'll tell you about in a minute. One of our most popular kits is the Home Essentials. Now, even though it's twice the price, you're actually getting three times the amount of oils, the same 10 oils, and you're getting the diffuser 
okay? You're getting in there frankincense, lavender, lemon, tea tree, oregano, peppermint, air respiratory blend, Zendress digestive blend, on guard protective blend, and deep blue soothing blend for muscular aches and pains, and the diffuser. Plus you're gonna get the one-to-one -one consultations and free membership. We've also got the healthy habits. So if diet and nutrition is an area that you feel that you're lacking in, this is a great one to get started with. It's actually called the daily habits kit actually here in Europe. Forgot to change that bit. Uh, this has got our supplement range in there and our supplements are infused with essential oils. It's got a digestive enzyme in there and probiotics in there. And then it's got the balance oil to set you off going in the morning. It's got lemon to add into your water. It's got the on guard to boost your immune system, frankincense to give you cellular support and lavender to help you de-stress and rest. So that's 202. And then for them that are like me, this is what I started with, because I'm just so impatient. Um, I went for the natural solutions because I wanted some of the hair care. I wanted some of the cleaning products. I wanted the deep blue rub and the oils and the shampoo and conditioner. Uh, but this is about transforming your health and wellness. And at the moment, we have this super cute thing. It was brought out for Mother's Day in America. Normally when they do this, we never get these. But I think they must have felt sorry for us with the lockdown because we got it. I got mine. It came out, by the way, on the 1st of April. Mine was here on the 3rd of April. Hey, this has got in there. These are exclusive. These. You could give them to somebody else if you wanted to, but I would say these are for you right now. They're perfect. You've got in there rose essential oil, absolute, uh, rose touch. We've got the jasmine touch in there as well. They're both great aphrodisiac oils as well as supporting love and nurture, calming, soothing. You've got the beautiful neroli in there. You've got magnolia in there. And then we've got a an exclusive one that we don't normally sell called Blue Lotus. Oh my God. This is why I bought this kit. I actually already have all of these rollerballs, the others, but I wanted this one. So I had to buy them all. But what you can do is you can make your own perfumes up, but these are actually going to support you on so many other levels as well. So there's lots of things. These are like my emotional yumminess at the moment. Um, I've been playing with these every single day probably why I'm a little bit hyper and a little bit crazy right now but hey ho oils can do that for me it's all good we have got a special offer on to the 15th of this month anyone that opens a wholesale customer account before the 15th and they order 100 points or more you'll get 50 free bonus product points to spend on free products next month on the 15th of next month so it's like getting 50 pounds worth of free oils as well so we've got some great little goodies and stuff on there. And this is just to kind of, you know, you, you have your oils everywhere with you. You really do. So what doTERRA is about and what I'm about is changing lives. So are you the kind of person that wants to live a wellness lifestyle for you and your family? Do you want to share the oils and get some oils for free with friends and family? Or you can actually build a business online or offline when we're out of lockdown, that can actually support you and your family, but at the same time supports you emotionally and physically. So there's all these different options for you. And if you wanna know about each of these, I will speak to you personally about which option will work better for you right now. So has anybody got any questions? Question time. Um, Dawn, the yes. precious set that you've just got, How I couldn't see a price on that one. Oh yeah, I forgot to put it on there, that's why. It's £94 retail, uh, £70.50 if you've got the wholesale customer account. Because um, they're super, 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 super. I've got a rose um, and a jasmine, absolutely. I'm fortunate from doTERRA years ago. Um, but they don't normally sell them. The rose now, they're starting to sell as a, as a pure oil. It's something like £200. Um, so that's why in these little diluted versions they're so much more convenient because i would always dilute them down anyway but it means everybody gets the joy of these fab oils um they are limited while stocks last they are still in at the moment and um, what about delivery delivery is normally four pound 80 for any size order that we do 
So delivery is £4.80. Normally, at the moment, shipping is still really, really good. As I said, I put my order in on Wednesday. It was here on Friday. Um, so they say five to seven business days, um, but generally most people have got them in two to three days. So delivery is super, super quick, really quick. Um, but I would say make sure if you do want to book a one-to-one, -one, book a one-to-one -one consultation with me um, because I want to look at what your personal health goals are and make sure that we're picking the right products for you rather than, you know, picking the wrong things. There are other starter kits that we do. I just didn't want to share them all. It confuses people. We've got like 10, um, which is a bit of overwhelm. So what I shared with you are like the top ones that most people generally start with. Um, but we can look at different ones based on what your personal needs are. Any questions? You can all unmute yourself. <laughs> there you go. I sneeze just as you're unmuted. I've got hay fever. Okay. Lavender, lemon and peppermint in a roller ball. For hay fever. Works great. Equal drops, 10 drops of each in a roller ball. Rub it on the bottom of your feet daily. Lavender, lemon. Put, put a drop of each in a capsule and take it daily. I've got a question. Yes. The, um, if you wanted to say I wanted to buy this as a gift, obviously the you're saying you've got different packs and sets that you can buy. Yeah. Uh, if it was for a gift, they would be rather expensive for me. But do you do like sets of three or four instead? Yeah, they do some like little intro kits. Um, again, it just depends on whether you're buying wholesale or retail. They do a little lavender, lemon and peppermint kit together. I think it's £29 at retail, um, something like £20 at wholesale. Um, so they do do little gift sets and stuff as well. We've actually brought out, I can't, can't, can't show you the tea because it's downstairs. We've actually brought out a herbal tea collection as well. And it's got two jars of tea in there and, um, one to boost your immune system and one to help you calm and soothe. And they are delicious. I couldn't wait to get them again. America got them at Christmas. We get them now, but I'm grateful. I was patient for the first time ever and didn't get my friend in America to put them on her account and send them over to me. <laughs> Same with these. That's what I was going to do with these. If these weren't released in the UK, that was happening. So I was just about ready to message her, knowing it was going to get launched in America on the 1st of April. And then lo and behold, we got a message on ours saying we were getting them and we were like, is it April Fool's Day? Is this a joke? But no, it's not. We've got them. And they're very precious. But these are, as I said, these are a precious gift for you these are what I would say you know but what I would say if you're just starting look at one of the other kits that's going to more help you with general health and wellness on a day-to-day -day basis so I would look at those ones that's a little intro kit Carol's got one there here's one I prepared earlier yeah so mine's got the peppermint and the lemon and the lavender yeah so question, diffuser bracelets come from doTERRA? No. So there's a company that I use to get all my um, supplies, books and things like that as well, called essentialoilsupplies.co.uk. This is one of my favorite books. And we kind of teach you about what resources to get started with, uh, recommended videos to watch. But in the Art Essential Wellness Tribe, our team group one, um, I've got like a I think it's 24 frequent asked questions. There's a whole section just on further education. So there's eBooks, there's online training that I've put together. There's um, videos that doTERRA have done. There is so much training now available. It's amazing what you can learn about these oils. And what I would say to you is um, it is a bit of an addiction because once you start playing with these oils, you're like, what else can I do with these oils? Um, you want to learn more because you learn about that oil and you're like, oh, what else could I do with this one? Or what can I do with that one? Um, so you do start learning a lot about them. So they are really, really good. But you've got them on the go. I've had them for all sorts of things from I've torn a ligament in um, my foot. I've had rope burn on my hand from the dog lead. I did a 15 foot lead right the way through my hand. Looked like melted candle wax. It was very nice. I, I use the essential oils to help to support that. I used it when I've ripped my thing. I've done it for when we've generally had backache. 
and things, normally from the dog doing something. Um, you know, for just general aches and pains and stuff, I've always had the oils there at hand. If I've burnt myself, I've got an oil for that. If I get a cough and a cold, I've got an oil for that. If my partner snores, I've got an oil for that. You know, there's things, I just have them there. Um, you know, whatever it is, he comes home with man flu, I've definitely got an oil for that. Because I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> but the other thing is they do make the most personal gifts that you can actually give to people. I love giving people the gift of health at Christmas time and birthdays and stuff. Mother's Day, I gave them immune supporting kit. They were both ecstatic because it's the one thing that they need more than anything right now is some oils to support their immune system. And we did a foaming, well, it's coming back in stock. We do a foaming hand wash. So I sent them both a bottle of the foaming hand wash and some hand cream and things like that infused with essential oils. So, you know, it's a perfect gift for people as well. That's what I love is um, I get to support them. So it was my gift to them. Thank you. Thank Any you questions? So no. Okay. So if you want to give me a call or send me a text message, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, obviously, I am in pink link. I am a member at both Lancaster and Preston as well. Um, so you will find me on the pink link page as a member there. It's just Dawn M. Murray is my business page. And I think it's uh, possibly Dawn M. Murray one is my pro personal profile but send it on my personal profile one uh, it's easier my mobile number if any of you want it is 07595609060 send me a text message and my website say it again, <laughs> say it again. Sorry, the end of your number yeah 07595609060 yeah. Six zero. Cool. And then my email, if you really want to, is just info at dawnmmurray.com. But the main thing I'd kind of say to you all is get a consultation booked. That's what I'm here for. It's a free consultation. You get a half hour session. You do fill in a little survey form beforehand and we look at your personal health goals. Okay because that's what we want to focus on more than anything. I want to focus on what do you need to support you right now? When I did the sleep survey with everybody, everybody had different needs and concerns in relation to why they weren't sleeping. So it's important to kind of look a little bit deeper into that. And that's what we do in the consultation. So I put a link in the chat there again, if you want to book uh, online, that's literally dawnmmurray.com slash book dash online. Alrighty. Thank you. Thanks. I wish Thank you could God. smell <laughs> all these beautiful oils. I smell, I smell amazing. <laughs> to be honest, Dawn, when I opened this before, I just got a whole burst of whiff around me of the mixture. <laughs> I know, it's gorgeous. I love it when I get things, Jay always laughs because when we open up my bag that I use for all my classes and stuff, um, generally have bits and bobs in there obviously my oil box goes everywhere with me um it's just like gosh you can smell the oil as soon as you open it up it's like we i go away to hotels and stuff and i have like a little travel diffuser that i take with me so first thing i do when i stay in a hotel room is i plug my travel diffuser in and set it going so i eliminate all the hotel stinky smells and end up with like this beautiful serene like little tranquil place of my own um, so first thing I always do is just create that perfect environment to be in. Um, and that's the great thing about using the oils is it's about creating your perfect environment. So thank so you so blessed. much. Round of applause, please, for Dawn. <laughs> it's been helpful. You've learned something new. Thank you, Dawn. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, as I said, any questions, pin them to me, send me a message, whatever, book a consultation. I'm just going to go on there now and open up a few more slots so you can get booked on there too. Thank, Thank you. you so much Dawn, I'll end the You're meeting welcome. now. Don't Thank forget you. this is on Facebook if you want to share it so we've gone live please do pass it on to your friends and make sure that they can connect with Dawn. Thanks again Dawn. Oh you're welcome, Hello. you're welcome. I'll have a totally awesome day whatever you're doing just go out play in the sunshine 
open all your windows as well let that fresh air in and have some fun and if you've got oils get them out the box take the lids <laughs> off and have a smell and if you haven't get ordering <laughs> <laughs> See you later, girls. Take care, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.